PhDs and researchers have been gatekeeping how to write a literature review like a pro. And I have a PhD and I don't want to gatekeep anymore. So in today's video, I'm going to be going through how to organize your sources, how to synthesize your literature, and even how to cite your sources accurately. And guess what? You do not need to be a pro to be able to do this. I'm going to be using Anara, which has brand new AI agents to be able to help me every step of the way. Now, writing a literature review can be easily broken down into four steps. The first is gathering and organizing your sources. The second is analyzing and synthesizing the literature. The third is structuring and writing your literature review. And the fourth is making sure that your citations and your sources are accurately placed within the review. It's really as simple as that. So let's start from the beginning. Step number one is where you gather and organize your sources. And this is really where Anara shines. Anara is an AI workspace for scientists, for researchers, and even for students. It really helps you have a library of papers where you're able to organize your your sources, search through your sources, ask questions, but even go beyond that and search on the web, search through YouTube videos, search through your workspace, and you're really able to interrogate your sources a lot better and have a much cleaner workflow. So this is what your homepage looks like. You've got your home kind of dashboard. You also have your library, you can search, and then you also have your chat history as well and your folders of papers, uh, chats, and information essentially. Now, when you start to ask a question, you can ask a question about anything specific or you can utilize one of the agents which I will be going through and talking about a bit later on. Now you can also select um, what kind of model that you want to use, there's Gemini, there's GPT, there's Claude etc and you can also select where this information will be coming from. So if you only want to focus on information in your workspace which is information or papers that you've uploaded directly then you can or you can focus on information from only the internet or both or whatever you like, so that's really useful. So I'm gonna start off by uploading some research papers that I want to use for my literature review to begin to assess whether these papers are even important. What I've started by doing is I've grouped these five papers into a folder called climate papers for paragraph two, because I've already done this for the introduction paragraph. Now I love that you can group the papers together in ANARA because then you can start to ask questions about only that group. So it really narrows down where you're getting the information from and sort of where Anara is taking the information from when answering your questions. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say search through my workspace and I want to say what is the gap in literature um, in understanding that these papers all discuss and then it goes through the different gaps so it's saying what the challenges are presented within this particular research area and it gives you kind of common themes that manifest in specific key areas. Now, the great thing about um, the answers given by Anara is that you have the references. So these number bubbles uh, take you to the research paper that it's referring to and also shows you a highlighted section um, for where it is speaking about as well. Now, because I'm still trying to figure out and understand this topic properly before I actually write my literature review, I want to look for a YouTube video because sometimes it actually just helps to hear and listen uh, to someone talking rather than just reading loads of papers. So I'm going to be using the agent to look through and search YouTube. And I said, is there a video that describes and explains climate change in a really, really simple way? Um, and it searches through YouTube videos and it gave me a list of several YouTube videos that are basic and simple for different kind of reasons. But I love how it goes a little bit beyond. So it's given me kind of a general overview of climate change videos, but it's also given me videos that are a bit more specific, uh, some summaries, some short kind of quick summaries, but also videos for kids too. Now I want to search for some more papers. I've uploaded the five papers that I already have, but I'm doing my literature search. So I really need to find some more papers that are a little bit more specific to Africa and climate change. So I'm using the AI agent, which is search for papers. So this is specifically looking for research papers and I'm saying find me papers that are to do with climate change effects in Africa and I'm saying that it, I'm happy for it to use any of the different sources that are available but I know that I don't have any myself within my library so it's most likely going to be only kind of grabbing papers from the internet. Um, so you can see here that it's pulled out a number of papers summarized kind of the impact for me when, in, in terms of agriculture, food safety and given me a massive long list of of research papers that again you can click into takes you directly to that paper so you can verify it and you know 
it, it's true and you can trust it and it's trustworthy, which is, of course, <laughs> really important in research. Um, you can also open it as a note and I'll show you a bit later on how this works. Uh, but the really cool thing you can do here is add these sources to your library directly. So there's this paper here that I really want to add to my library. It's a PDF um I believe UNESCO, I think. And I think this would be really useful to have in my library itself. It downloads the paper for me from the internet and adds it to my library. And this is a PDF with 102 pages. And now I can go and delve in a bit deeper and start to ask questions about it. And I've been able to grab a very relevant piece of literature or information um, from the internet from what Anara has suggested, which I think is really cool. Now you want to do this a few times to be able to really get all the best sources that you can possibly find for your literature review. And this is essentially the most important step, I would say. Um, then step number two is analyzing and synthesizing the literature. And this is typically the most time consuming part of a literature review where you have to read everything. Like you have this 102 page PDF, how are you going to be able to read that plus all the other things that you need to read within the time, the short time that you have. So to be able to do this more efficiently, you can use Anara again to be able to analyze um, and ask questions about any paper. So we're going to chat with our documents. Now, what I've done here is I've opened up a different folder. It's about senescence, uh, which is like cell death, essentially. Um, so I've opened up this folder. You can have the display as a table or you can have the display um, as tabs. I personally quite like the tabs because I can actually see the papers. But if I have a really like large group of papers um, the table is a bit more useful just to have a quick overview but the tabs I don't know I just prefer seeing the actual papers so I love that you have that flexibility in terms of like view so I'm gonna ask some questions so the first thing I'm gonna say is what are the key findings from these papers and this is quite a general question um, nothing no rocket science here but I just want to get some initial understanding in terms of the key results from these papers and as you can see it's very quickly in a few seconds given me um, the key findings and again if you click on any of those numbers it takes you directly to the source from the paper and the section within the paper which allows you to verify where this information has been taken from now a really new cool feature is that you can actually tag or like mention a specific source that you have um, and ask a question about it to make sure that Anara knows accurately what you're speaking about. So I want to focus on one of the papers. So I've added and I've mentioned just that paper. I've tagged that paper and I'm saying, does this paper talk more about aging than the other two? So I wanted to make sure that it was clear as to which paper I was speaking about and which paper I wanted to compare um, rather than just saying the first or the second. And it just helps with kind of cross-referencing and linking all of your sources together so I think this is a really cool new feature in this stage when you're when you're writing your literature review the second stage is all about figuring things out you the ultimate aim is that you want to create a an outline for your literature review and if you don't know the good the bad the contradictions the, the right the wrong the gaps and how can you do that accurately and that's what I'm trying to do by asking these questions here because I do have an exam coming up soon uh, I want to create some flashcards and I'm going to be using the create flashcards agent. And I love how there's different styles of questions as well. There's true and false questions, there's fill in the blank, there's multiple choice. So it's kind of requiring me to do different things and retrieve information in different ways. Step three is structuring and writing your literature review. So now that you've gathered all the information, you've understood all the information, now we're going to start to write, which is the, you know, a relatively important part. To do this, I'm going back to the chat where I made the flashcards and I'm going to say, I'm writing a literature review. Give me a draft outline based on these three research papers. So I'm still talking in the chat where I've got the three research papers all together. And I want to say, focus on these papers only. Give me a draft outline. And as you can see, it pulls out this draft outline for me. Again, fully referenced. And that's one thing that I love about Anara. You don't have to guess whether or where this information has come from or whether it's trustworthy or it, whether it's made up or it's hallucinating, everything is there for you. Um, and then you can click on open as a note. This is the key part. You click on open as a note and it copies all that information as a note. I then open it in full view because now I just want to focus on 
the overview to make sure that it sounds good. I've done my reading, I know and I understand everything. So it's just about me trying to focus and tie this in together. And then one of the last things I'm going to do is I'm going to create a citation. So using the create citation agent, I'm going to create a citation for one of the papers, uh, one of the things that I have available in my library. I can add and tag the specific source that I want to be cited and it quickly generates a Harvard citation for me and I can add that to the end and that is a perfect reference um, and I can keep on doing that to all the references that I add. And that's essentially step four, making sure that you're citing correctly, making sure that you are, as you're writing, pulling the right citations, adding them to your library, asking Anara to cite them properly for you um, and ensuring that everything matches up and that's one of the most important things in academia, especially when writing a literature review. I really hope that you found this video useful. There are so many really cool new features that Anara has introduced into their platform. Anara makes the whole process so seamless and super, super easy. And I'm really lucky that they've given you guys a discount code. I'll leave the code down below, but it will be Amina20. You can go ahead and use it for a paid plan. But if you want to just try it out for free, you can also do that. The free plan gives you lots of capability when it comes to usage. So I think you definitely benefit regardless. And that is how you write a literature review like a pro, but without the pro. <laughs> ethically. I really hope you found this useful. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if this was something new. I'm sure Anara is, this is not the first time you've heard Anara on this platform, but if it is, let me know down below if you've tried it and what you think about it. And I hope to see you in my next video. Okay, bye.